Why do we do that? 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 Monsignor Kevin O'Neill, uh, pastor and rector at the Cathedral Parish of St. Helena and vicar general for the diocese. The first day that begins our journey into the Lenten season of grace is marked with the sign of the cross and it's marked with ashes to remind us that ashes to ashes and dust to dust we shall return. But as the Lord reminded us, the three great things that last forever are faith, hope, and love, the greatest of these being love. So in marking ourselves with that which is transitional, we rekindle in our hearts those that are eternal. And they are linked by the sign of the cross, which is the victory we share in, the victory of our Savior. It's a marvelous uh, exchange, and I, I receive the better portion. I know I do, because in looking out over the number of people, that are of their own free will. They're there not out of obligation, but more out of oblation, to give spiritual praise to God by their lives and marking themselves knowing that they are still in a process of becoming, that they know who they are, but they know all that they hope to be as well. And if they don't, they seek that wisdom and good counsel of the Holy Spirit. So the church is full and I, I always hesitate to tell people it's not a holy day of obligation because uh, I, the understanding is very much in their heart that it is. But they've translated it into a, a legalistic, from a legalistic obligation to one that is one of charity, one of hope, one of faith. And it's a beautiful gift that they share.